Do you know why Pakistan doesn't consider Israel a state? The world's largest bath complex is located in Israel? How is Israel considered to be the lowest point on earth? How many Muslims live in Israel? Why Dajjal will appear from Israel? For these amazing facts, please have a look on the video. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a topic that really needs our attention. So today's topic for the video is the history and important facts about the Israel. The history, religion, and customs of Israel have earned a lot of fame. Its conflict with Palestine is also widely known. The conflict has been marked by a series of violent clashes, including suicide bombings, rocket attacks, and military strikes, that have killed thousands of people on both sides. To know the detail of the conflict, please watch the full video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The history of Israel is complex and multifaceted, stretching back thousands of years. The modern state of Israel was established in 1948, but its roots can be traced back to ancient times. Early History The land of Israel has been inhabited since prehistoric times, with evidence of human habitation dating back at least 300,000 years. The area was conquered by various empires throughout history, including the Babylonians, Persians, Greeks, and Romans. The Jews, who are the primary inhabitants of Israel, were first recorded in the region in the 13th century BCE. Jewish Revolts and Diaspora In 63 BCE, the Roman Empire conquered Israel and named it Palestine. This period saw several Jewish revolts against Roman rule, including the Great Revolt of 66-70 CE, which resulted in the destruction of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. Zionism In the late 19th century, a movement called Zionism emerged advocating for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine. Theodor Herzl, the founder of modern political Zionism, worked tirelessly to build support for this idea among Jews worldwide. British Mandate In 1917, during World War I, the British government issued the Balfour Declaration, expressing support for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine. In 1922, the League of Nations granted Britain a mandate over Palestine, which lasted until 1948. Israeli Independence In 1947, the United Nations approved a plan to partition Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states. The Jews accepted the plan, but the Arabs rejected it, and war broke out between the two sides. After several months of fighting, Israel declared its independence on May 14, 1948. Wars and Conflicts Israel has been involved in numerous conflicts since its establishment, including the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, the Six-Day War in 1967, and the Yom Kippur War in 1973. The ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been a major source of tension in the region for decades. Today, Israel is a thriving democracy and a center of innovation and technology. Its population is diverse, with Jews, Arabs, Christians, and other groups living side by side. However, the region remains complex and fraught with challenges, and the future of Israel and its relationship with its neighbors is uncertain. Religion is a big part of a country. Let's take a look at the religion of Israel now. The religion of Israel is predominantly Judaism. Judaism is one of the oldest monotheistic religions, dating back over 3,000 years. It is based on the belief in one God who made a covenant, or agreement, with the Jewish people, as described in the Hebrew Bible, or Old Testament. Judaism has a rich tradition of customs, rituals, and laws that guide the religious and cultural life of Jewish people. These include observing the Sabbath, a day of rest and worship, celebrating holidays and festivals, following dietary laws such as keeping kosher, and participating in prayer and study. While Judaism is the dominant religion in Israel, there are also significant Muslim, Christian, and Druze populations. Israel is a secular state, meaning that the government is not controlled by religious authorities and there is no official state religion. Islamic religion in Israel Israel is a diverse country with a significant Muslim population. Islam is the second largest religion in Israel, after Judaism. The country has several cities with large Muslim populations, such as Jerusalem, Nazareth, and Umm al-Fam. Muslims in Israel have the right to practice their religion freely, and the Israeli government recognizes and supports Islamic religious institutions. The Islamic Waqf, an Islamic religious authority, is responsible for managing the Muslim holy sites in Jerusalem, including the Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock. Culture Many of Israel's customs and traditions are rooted in Jewish religious practices, such as observing the Sabbath, celebrating Jewish holidays, and following dietary laws. 
Israel has a rich history dating back thousands of years, and this is reflected in its cultural heritage. Archaeological sites, museums, and historical landmarks abound throughout the country, providing a glimpse into Israel's past. The country is also home to a thriving arts and music scene, with many famous Israeli musicians, artists, and writers. Food. Popular dishes include hummus, chickpea spread, kebab, meat and vegetables on a skewer, falafel, fried balls of crushed chickpeas, oil, and spices, shawarma, spit-roasted meat and salad inside pita bread, burikas, savory pastries with fillings such as potato, cheese, or spinach, tidim, an Israeli toasted pasta shaped like rice or little balls, and Russian borscht, beet soup. Vegetable salad is usually eaten daily. Fruit shakes and iced coffee are popular summertime drinks. Language. The official languages of Israel are Hebrew and Arabic. Hebrew is the primary language spoken by the majority of the population and is used for official purposes, education, and communication. English is also widely spoken in Israel, particularly in business and academic settings. Other languages commonly spoken by Israelis include Russian, Yiddish, and Amharic, among others. Traditions. Israel is a country with a rich and diverse cultural heritage. Influenced by the many peoples and civilizations that have inhabited the land throughout its long history. Some of the major traditions in Israel includes Jewish tradition, Arab tradition, Christian tradition, Bedouin tradition, and Druze tradition. On number 1, Jewish tradition, Israel is the spiritual homeland of the Jewish people. And Judaism is the country's main religion. Jewish tradition and customs are an integral part of Israel's cultural heritage and identity and include practices such as the celebration of the Sabbath, the observance of Jewish holidays such as Passover, Hanukkah, and Yom Kippur, and the reading of the Torah. On number two, Arab tradition, Israel is also home to a significant Arab population, and Arab culture and traditions have had a significant impact on the country's cultural landscape. Arab traditions in Israel include music, dance, and cuisine. On number three, Christian tradition, Israel is also a significant destination for Christian pilgrimage. And the country is home to a number of important Christian sites, including the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, the birthplace of Jesus in Bethlehem, and the Mount of Beatitudes on the Sea of Galilee. On number 4, Bedouin tradition. The Bedouin people are a nomadic Arab group that have inhabited the deserts of the Middle East for centuries. In Israel, the Bedouin maintain a distinct cultural heritage, including traditions such as camel racing, weaving, and the preparation of traditional Bedouin cuisine. On number 5, Druze tradition, the Druze are a religious and ethnic minority in Israel, with a distinct cultural heritage that includes practices such as the Druze sword dance and the celebration of the Druze New Year. Getting bored of the video? Hold some more as now let's talk about some really interesting facts about Israel. On number 1, Israeli postage stamps use kosher glue. Postage stamp glue is kosher in Israel. This is because the country's population is mostly Jewish. The chief rabbis of Israel certified that the adhesive on the stamps is kosher because most people lick the glue on the stamps to stick them to envelopes. On number 2, Israel is the home to the lowest point on earth. The Dead Sea lies 420 meters below sea level. It is the lowest point on earth. Because of the amount of salt in the water, it's almost 10 times salter than the ocean, when you enter the Dead Sea you float. Due to its high salinity, animals cannot survive in the water, hence its name. On number 3, Israel has a lot of museums. Israel is a great place for history buffs. The nation has more museums per capita than any other country in the world. In Israel, there are over 230 museums dedicated to all manner of topics, for instance, art, science, history, design, architecture, technology, and sports. On number 4, Tel Aviv has more Bauhaus-style buildings than any other city. Tel Aviv is famed for its Bauhaus-style architecture. In fact, the city is home to more 1930s Bauhaus-style buildings than any other city in the world. Because of this, UNESCO proclaimed the city a World Heritage Site. You can take a walking tour with the Bauhaus Center to view some of the best-preserved examples of these Bauhaus buildings. On number 5, Israel has the second-largest bath complex in the entire Roman Empire. Hamet Gator is located in the Yarmouk River Valley. Here you'll find remains of an ancient Roman bath complex that dates back to the 2nd century. It lays claim to being the second-largest bath complex in the entire Roman Empire. Nowadays, 
Hammett Gator is Israel's largest spa complex and you can visit and enjoy the thermal baths and visit the crocodile farm, too. On number 6, the Wailing Wall gets more than 1 million notes a year. The Western Wall in the Old City of Jerusalem is also called the Wailing Wall. It is a place of prayer and pilgrimage and it is sacred to the Jewish people. Each year, visitors to the Wailing Wall leave millions of handwritten notes and between the cracks of the ancient stone. During Passover and Rosh Hashanah, the notes are taken off the wall and are buried at the nearby by Mount of Olives. On number 7, Jewish concept of Dajjal and ending of world. This is basically the most interesting fact about Israel. Dajjal is not a concept that is recognized or acknowledged in traditional Jewish belief or scripture. The concept of Dajjal, or the Antichrist, is specific to Islamic eschatology and is not mentioned in Jewish scripture such as the Torah or Talmud. Judaism does, however, have its own beliefs about the end times and the coming of the Messiah. Jewish tradition holds that the Messiah will come to bring peace and justice to the world, and that there will be a resurrection of the dead. Conflict between the two countries over Masjid e Aqsa. The conflict over Masjid al Aqsa, also known as the Temple Mount, is one of the most contentious issues between Israel and Palestine. The site is located in the Old City of Jerusalem which is considered holy by both Muslims and Jews. Muslims believe that Masjid al-Aqsa is the third holiest site in Islam after Mecca and Medina. It is believed to be the site where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven during his night journey. The site also includes the Dome of the Rock, a shrine that contains the foundation stone, which is believed to be the spot where the Prophet Muhammad prayed alongside other prophets of Islam. Jews believe that the site is the holiest place in Judaism, According to Jewish tradition, it is the site of the first and second temples, which were destroyed in ancient times. The Western Wall, which is part of the retaining wall of the Second Temple, is also considered a holy site by Jews. Israel has been boycotted by some nations as a response to their occupation of Palestine. The countries that boycotted Israel are listed below. List of countries that boycott Israel. Pakistan is one of the few Muslim-majority countries that does not recognize Israel as a state and has consistently maintained this stance since its independence in 1947. It is mentioned in the Passport of Islamic Republic of Pakistan that the passport is valid for all the countries of world, except Israel. There have been some reports and rumors of back-channel talks and secret meetings between the two countries particularly in the context of security and intelligence cooperation. One major issue is the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict and Pakistan's strong support for the Palestinian cause. Additionally, Pakistan has been wary of Israel's close ties with its arch-rival India, and has opposed Israel's nuclear weapons program. Iran does not recognize the state of Israel and has banned all trade with it since the Islamic Revolution in 1979. As a result, Iran has refused to establish any diplomatic relations with Israel and has consistently boycotted any events or organizations. Lebanon technically remains at war with Israel and has a law in place that prohibits its citizens from doing business. With Israelis, Lebanon has boycotted Israel in many aspects. For instance, Lebanese citizens are not allowed to visit Israel. Syria and Israel have had a contentious relationship since the establishment of Israel in 1948. Syria has historically been a vocal opponent of Israel's policies towards the Palestinian territories, and the two countries have engaged in several armed conflicts, including the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, the Six-Day War in 1967, and the Yom Kippur War in 1973. Yemen, as a member of the Arab League, participated in this boycott. Iraq does not have official diplomatic relations with Israel and prohibits all trade with it. The relationship between Iraq and Israel has been complicated over the years. Kuwait has no official diplomatic relations with Israel and prohibits all trade with it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below. Please tell us which one is your favorite and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our old videos too so you can get caught up. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.